This application problem states a 55-foot vertical flagpole is standing on horizontal ground. If the length of the shadow of the flagpole is 27.7 feet, find the angle of elevation of the sun. And I need to round the answer to the nearest tenth of a degree. Well, the first thing I need to do is draw a picture. So here is my horizontal ground. Here is my vertical flagpole. And what angle is there between something that's vertical and horizontal? It's 90 degrees. So here is my 90 degrees. Now remember, this distance represents my flagpole. I'm going to have my sun up in the sky, up here, and it's going to cast a shadow along the ground over here. So there's going to be my shadow on the ground, and I need to complete this right triangle from the end of the shadow to the tip of the flagpole. And now remember angle of elevation. The angle of elevation is always measured from the horizontal and it's how far I have to raise my eyes from the horizontal to see the top of the flagpole. As I'm trying to find the angle of elevation of the sun, that is going to be my variable. So I'm going to let theta equal the angle of elevation of the sun. So that is the angle here. Remember, that's the angle that I raise my eyes from the horizontal to look up and see the tip of the flagpole and then the sun. Now I need to put my distances on the diagram. 55 feet is the height of my flagpole, and 27.7 feet is the length of my shadow. So now I need to look at the angle I'm trying to find and the two distances I'm given. 55 feet is the side that is opposite the angle I'm looking for, and the 27.7 feet is the side that is adjacent to it. So I'm going to be looking for a trig function that combines the sides opposite and adjacent. So here is my mnemonic, Sokotoa. And which of these three trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, involves opposite and adjacent? That is the tangent function. So I know that the tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent. So the tangent of theta is opposite, is 55 feet divided by the adjacent side, which is 27.7 feet. So now to find theta, I'm going to have to use the inverse tangent function. So it's the inverse tangent of 55 divided by 27.7. So I'm going to need my calculator, so I'm going to put the video on pause. Here is my calculator. It's a TI-84+. plus. Since my answer needs to be rounded to the nearest tenth of a degree, I need to be in degrees. So looking at mode, the mode I'm in, I'm in radians, so I need to be in degrees. So I'm going to scroll down and over and then hit enter. Now degrees are highlighted, so I'm going to quit that. And now I need to find the inverse tangent button. That's here in blue above the tangent button. So I need to press second and then tangent. Notice it opened the parentheses. So now I need to put in my fraction 55 divided by 27.7. Close parentheses, hit enter. There is my answer in degrees. So theta equals 
point two six eight. Notice it keeps going degrees. So I need to round to the nearest tenth of a degree. That is this position. The six is going to round the two up. So theta equals sixty three point three degrees. So my angle of elevation is 63.3 .3 degrees.